Welcome back folks, episode 13. We are now at episode 13 of this playthrough of the Blood and Titanium DLC to Phoenix Point. I'm the Lord of Luck and our team has finally, after many 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 hours of searching, discovered another Phoenix base. Which also has comes with a research lab already installed. So, contrary to what I told you last time, we're not gonna have to build that. We want another satellite uplink. And I'd also like a full production and full that I am. I didn't watch my resources, but we should be able to get some materials from all the food we have saved up. So, the living quarters, were they ready? No, they're under repair. And the medical bay has to be built. And they look like they can take at least that one more mission up here. So that's where we're going right now. Research Siren Autopsy. Siren is named after its bone-chilling screech, which has psychic as well as sonic components. It incorporates human and myriapoda genetic information resulting in particularly gruesome monster. However, its mind control abilities are its most terrifying characteristic. In order to understand more about its mechanisms, it is imperative that we capture and study a live specimen. This could be the key to understanding the whole structure of the Pandoran symbiotic collective. Arthropod, Myriapoda, Human, Unknown, Leadership, Abduction, Close, Combat, Abduction, I didn't know about that. Can directly control an enemy with a low will. And acid ejection, yeah, 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 got all that. Can be armored, can move rapidly. Limited range ability, 150 materials. There we go, materials. There we go. So actually we're gonna have one space free here we might build another cybernetic slab. Let's think about that for a second. And you guys are gonna heal up. You guys are gonna heal up. Are you gonna... Oh yeah. We've got our first cybernetic slab. At this base here. So, let's see how this works. I guess uh, we're gonna go via the... Yes, now we've got an augmentation screen here. So, we had one plan with that augmentation slab, and that was getting the... What was my plan again? I had a plan, right? Juggernaut torso, newer torso. Could swear I had a plan there. Oh yes, I wanted the... Uh, the additional stealth augmentation. And uh, maybe the, the, the legs which... Uh, which give uh, additional stealth also. But actually we've got our echo head-ons and we, uh, yeah, we can't do that right now. And also we don't have the augmentation yet for the close combat specialist. Okay. Um, so what are we gonna do with these? We've got the clarity yet. Immune to mind control. That's basically a good thing. Could be useful for our heavies, or heavy gunners, let's say. They get a little bit more accuracy and immunity to mind control if they approach a siren. The neural disruption. Also interesting, maybe against sirens. Or even against uh, sentinel.
So then we've got the Juggernaut torso with the energy shield. That's some. That's just too blunt. Neural torso with double weight. Armadillo legs. Oh yeah, right. We had the propeller legs, which give the rocket leap. I would really, if they describe those here, I would really like to know what it costs, like how many action points, how many will points. Um, that would be really useful. Okay, anyway, right now we're low on resources, so we can't get anything done right now. We can, however, already see Mr. Brown, Corgi Man. Didn't we change your armor color? Pretty sure I changed it. Should look like this. Um, deploy decoy. We were thinking actually to cross him over with a techie or with the uh, with the assault class. So decoys may still be useful, but the most useful will be later on the sneak attack and stuff like that. So I'll keep some skill points for now. Longbrow, yeah, we didn't we didn't really talk much, right? He's got the armadillo legs already. So that's uh, immune to goo and landing shock absorption. But he's very low on skill points. You're really gonna need to get you up to speed, buddy. Shotgun and melee weapon proficiency, yeah. That also sounds... Like maybe you're gonna be crossed with a berserk, right? Getting a shotgun in there. 20% more damage. Sounds good to me. And then we got a new priest. And that one, of course, is gonna get a head, which we're gonna create in the mutations lab, not in the augmentations lab. So right now we can't do anything with the lab. Sorry, guys. There's more fog forming up here. And we've still got a scavenging site up there. And we've still got the Pandoran Lair down here, of course. Um, what I'm hoping right now is that they attack a Sanhedrin Haven. Because we really need to get in the good books of uh, Sanhedrin of New Jericho. So, down here we're waiting. Actually, we don't have to wait for our Berserk to heal, we could just take someone else. But on what mission? We, we, the only one we could really do useful is uh, up here at the scavenging site. And I'd rather have that for the crew which, which will be moving out. Um, we, what we could do is recruit some more soldiers, because in four days the new Tiamat will be ready. And it would be helpful to have not only level 1 soldiers on it. So we've already got a priest here in the team and we've got one more on the base. So we don't really need a priest here. Another assault. Would not be too bad. What this here is a priest. That's a berserk. And we've only got one berserk here right now, but we've got a lot of assaults. Uh, we can cross train. 
Other souls which would need a lot of materials. These guys need more food. So let's take everybody off the Manticore for now. And we need materials, that's what I said, right? So this haven here likes us. can recruit a berserk up there. And if I know him right, he's already gonna come with some beautiful mutation. Yeah, there we go. Regeneration torso. As I said, I don't use it much, but could be worse. And actually, we don't have a lot more resources to spill right now. So let's take him down there. As I said, it's gonna take four days. We have found some kind of Pandoran colony strewn with Arthron remains. There is an abandoned scarab outside. Enter the tunnels. So this is the site that we were approaching with Manticore 1. Some people are a little bit injured, but not by much. So, secure area. Let's go in there. So, this looks like your basic Pandora nest. And we've got one Triton down here. I'm on my way. I've got a visual. Two. Two Tritons. Isn't this a great opportunity for Mr. Flowers to actually do something, isn't it? Isn't it? Let's go. Lovely. And they're both concealed, that's not going to be a big problem. I'm on the move. I'm on the move. Okay, I would have thought they're quite close to this position. Ready for action. Apparently I was wrong. Gotta keep on pushing. Uh huh. Heading out. It's not quite working out like I thought. Moving now. Where are these guys? And... Why is he still so unbelievably slow? I'm on Overwatch. Well, all right then. Uh, 
target in sight. Oh, well, there's one now. Awesome. Sorry, yeah, and that's gonna be acid, man. That's we'll be right there. And one more spotted down there. Okay. Ah, thrown spotted down there. Okay. So, what do we do with all this? I got this covered. This is gonna be oh boy. That's where he was hiding, about one meter from everybody else. And there's a siren there. Oh, hello, hell. This is going to get a lot more interesting than I thought, a lot faster than I thought. Why does no overwatch trigger? Why does no overwatch trigger? Okay. Okay, okay. At least return fire trigger on that. So we got an Arthur and a Triton and a Siren on there. And it would appear they don't like my assault here. So where's that Arthron? Yeah, right. Okay. He missed. Thank you for missing, buddy. That was uh, quite the lucky touch. Is it, man? Yeah, you're good at I healing, right? I'll be okay. Okay. Uh. So this is the first quick save of the mission, we can do that this way. Let's think about this. What are we going to do? Siren has 470 health points, quite some armor. We could destroy her armor in one place with a nice pistol shot by our berserk. channel open and after that I'm here receiving loud and clear what's our plan yeah and after that uh, we would take a iconoclast blast and that I'm would almost but only almost killer and we still have to take care of these guys. Anyway, a kill siren is not unimportant. So let's see that we I do that. Move. One more Arthron down there. Okay, I can live with that for now. Armor break, please. And let's actually break that. Uh, where do we break that armor? Zooming in. 
tail, one arm. Head is always nice, and she can't do her mind control stuff anymore. Oh, and we couldn't get in a second shot, I didn't count on that. Yeah, right. So that would actually mean with 400 damage from the Iconoclast, uh, she's gonna be dead. I'm on the move. That's a good thing. Oh, Dexter, this is ridiculous, really. So this also scores minus five will points on everybody. How are we doing on will points now? Six, and they've all got. No, those two probably have both got machine guns and launchers. So this is very bad for you, actually. Ready for action. I don't have that much armor yet. This could still work, if I'm very lucky. And they've got acid launcher arms, that's also not lucky. And he has returned fire now. So that's not good. And I can't fire on anybody else with this guy. In that case, let's see can we get a shot out? with Mr. Friedlich. Actually, we can. Didn't think we could. So, let's go for a leg then. Doesn't really matter. Yes, it, yes, it matters. Because we have to disable either the arm or leg to kill him. There we go. Okay. So, that's done. Um, we need a good overwatch with Koala Bear here. I'm on and... Actually, we're gonna do the same with Mr. Flowers. And then... We just have to hope because this Arthron, if he does a two shots with his machine gun, that might mean the loss of a soldier, and that would be very, very, very bad. Okay, you came here, interesting. No return fire? No? No. Okay. That actually doesn't look too bad, because now if the machine gun would fire, the Triton would also be hit. So I guess he's not gonna do that, right? I guess he would. And there goes another one. Okay. We've gotta slow this down for a spell. Luckily, that's not going to be a very big problem here. So, first of all, 
Dexter is gonna heal up. Arms online. Then we're gonna have. Our rugby pro do a nice strike here. Gather up this handgun and then hide down here. Another Arthron spotted where? Oh, really? What's our plan? It's a lot of Arthrons right now. So you're gonna hide too. Uh, we need to destroy him somehow. Standing by. We've got one assault left in the back, I said, man. But he has 18 will points. Time. No! Really getting ridiculous. Anyway. So, what now? These guys are both panicked. That is very useful right now. That means we're just gonna overwatch the situation for a bit. With just about everything we have here. Channel open. Oh, you can't do that yet, right? Yes, you can. I got this covered. Repositioning, prioritizing speed. And let's see where that gets us. They should both go recover. Target missed. Target missed, yeah, that happens. Happens to the best of us. So we could assume these are the last two on the map, but we don't know. And they aren't. So what now? Channel open. Dexter is exactly eight will points. This is that's 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 perfect, isn't it? Pushing on. Let's dash you here. I and dash you it. here. I need an angle. And shoot something in the head. Then after that, receiving loud and clear. Yeah, that's what um, one thing we could do. We could get him here and fire the hell cannon. Actually, let's get him here and fire the hell cannon. Provides much better cover. Do a quick aim. Yeah, 
and shoot him in the arm. And then we've got our Arthron down the road there. Heading out. Ready for action. Well, I think we're just gonna have to overwatch the hell out of that guy. Let's hope he plays along. Overwatch. One overwatch. I got Two overwatch. Cover. And... Crunch time. Overwatch. Now, if he moves, he should be putting. That is absolutely ridiculous again. So they didn't see him, but he was able to launch a parabolic arc. <sighs> Honestly, buddy. Target sighted. You're annoying. One more handgun for us. I should have should have rested him, right? Anyway. Reposition. Well, let's just get you up here, and who needs healing more? Ready -ish. While he's bleeding. Don't like it if my soldiers beat to death. Channel open. Well, well. There we go. Moving to position. That would take way too long. Um all set. Who's left back here? Basically this doesn't look good. Let's get you back to cover here. And from here you're gonna overwatch. Case also cover or Moving maybe from here. Coordinates. 
Holding position. Maybe. Sprinting to position. Yeah, basically that's it's always a little bit ridiculous this uh well, watch, you wait for him to move. He moves closer. He's gonna get a shot in somehow. There. I don't know what's happening. Do you? Oh, boy. Come on. There isn't anything there. <sighs> no, wasn't that ridiculous? So, not back to square one, uh, but back a few squares. Our plan. If I only knew. Let's get here. And let's lose this author. flowers. You can start shooting this triton, please. Uh, armor is almost the same everywhere, so let's start with that. Then we are going to go here with our melee Rugby star. We're gonna overwatch this area with a sniper. And I think then we're going to relax for a little bit. You still want to attack? Because I'd really like you to not do that. Oh, there's another one coming. <sighs> okay. So, two Arthrons up there. Yeah, I'm not going to be terrible subtle about this right now. Of 
because I am taking aim. Tempted to lose my patience with these That's a key. creatures. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, buddy. That was entirely my fault. No way to say this even slightly different. So he's still returning fire, but I don't think he will be able to. You. That was a kill. Standing by. Let's see if we see any more of them. Don't want to deal with any surprises right now. Advancing. So this is not loud and clear. terrible yet. How many more can there be? Okay, there's one. So, is this the last one or not? Let's get you covered up and healed. Receiving loud and clear. And why not get Mr. Friedlich another chance to demonstrate his skills with a very heavy cannon? So was well, that it? That was it. Finally, eight hundred experience. That was well earned. Dexter got a level up. Koala bear got a level up. Bimps finally got level two. Alexander Dunchev was certainly here, but he must have left in a hurry. There are abandoned items in a chamber, including a remarkable armored suit. It's actually a mutated living organism bioengineered using some unknown technology. It still seems alive and functional. Take everything useful we can find. Not only have we recovered the living armor, but we have found another location that Dunchev might have visited. Some new helmet, some new body armor, some new leg armor, and the second mission once more into the maze. 
Yeah, let's get those medikits back. So, be some new armor. Who will we give that to? Well, let's have a look at it first. I won't give it to the priest, of course. Basically, it's quite an amazing armor. We have 40 and 35 and 35 armor. 40 on the torso and arms and 35 on the legs and head. And we get a small stealth and accuracy bonus with that. So, it's quite an amazing armor. Uh, who can we give that to right now where it makes sense? So we get a, a stealth and accuracy bonus. That's... It's not helpful enough for a scout because it's much worse than an actual scout armor. The stealth bonus is actually not that important. I think uh, what's most important about this is the, the pure armor. And... I guess one of the assaults should get it in the beginning. Or maybe someone who runs around with a shotgun amongst en enemies. Um, we will have to think about that for a moment. And of course it doesn't make sense to put it on anybody with mutated body parts or bionic body parts. Well, well. So, Koala Bear, level 3. We are getting a quick aim. And... One speed, one willpower with that. Dexter... Return fire. Do you, I want the biochemist, mounted weapon specialist. Um, doesn't really need the biochemist, but if you do AOE and you get that one viral damage on everybody in the area, no, that doesn't really help, right? Let's take return fire for now, and I think you need some speed, buddy. And flowers will finally be able to dash. Give you another willpower. Good, good. So that was the first of the Living Weapons DLC missions. And the second is not that far away actually. We've also got one mission available right here, frozen. We've got two missions down here. And we've got a very, very tired squad. I think they'll manage one more mission. Nine stamina. And anyway, it needs some time in the base still to get the living quarters ready. So I... We could send them on one more mission. Maybe. Let's take this to a base safe first.
Boy, they are really beaten up, right? Oh yes, so... Um, Mr. Brown, we actually want you on the Manticore at the moment. Well, he does need training. So then we would have... This is getting a little... Uh, yeah, we don't, we don't want Mr. Longbro on the Manticore right now. We want our priest. Of course. And then they need some more time to heal and then hopefully there will be a new mission to defense. Oh, living quarters capacity reached. Yeah, we're building new living quarters right now. Right now. We're on it. We're on it. Our operatives have reached a defunct research station in northern Siberia, identified in science notes as a significant point of interest. The doors stand open and there are no signs of life. Scientists who worked at this station are all long dead. Their mutated bodies lie frozen in strange demoniac poses. It's easy for our operatives to retrieve the samples they were researching, researching which Randolph Symes came all this way to examine. Okay. In 2022, a group of researchers investigating an anthrax outbreak caused by melting permafrost in northern Siberia went missing. The Phoenix Project tried to find out what happened to them, but our resources were stretched too thin, and our allies in the Russian government were losing influence, so we let it go. All these years later, looking at these samples, I wonder, is this where it started? Is this the first outbreak? If we had done more, could we have stopped it? The genetic material I have recovered might hold the answers, but I'm not sure I want to know. Yeah, yeah, totally. Totally. Uh, yeah. So, what we still need on this continent is a priest. But our living quarters capacity is reached. And we cannot actually get down here. Which is a little bit annoying. We need our Tiamat for that. Or an area scan starting at this haven there. That's one thing we could do before returning. Uh, I'm waiting for the area scan to complete here. Things fall apart. Yeah, 15%. We have received an unconfirmed report of someone dying during a potentially ODI-related recurring nightmare. The individual in question had supposedly reported that with each repetition of the dream, they came closer to the gates of a tomb in a vast, dead city under a black sky. It's hard to judge what exactly this means without more evidence. Understood. Research complete. Pandoran colonies are underground tunnel-like structures made of Pandora virus produced biomass. Following the ecological transformation of the sea, they appear to be the next step to the total conquest 
of the Earth's ecosystems. Each colony produces its own specific mutations, which is why we see certain mutations predominant in different regions. The colonies seem to expand their area of operation over time, taking any human settlements they find. Based on colony growth patterns, we suspect that there are multiple levels of development. The initial level has been classified as the Pandoran Nest. Good. Oh, new research is also available. Pandoran capture and containment, and we need to destroy the area. Come on, guys. I don't have all day. There we go. So, let's just for a spell check our personnel. Still got Gotti Man on board. No, sorry, buddy. Next time, maybe. We're gonna take... We could actually take Lobro on his first mission, right? He's got return fire. We can work out something. So what we need is a grenade here. We need a med pack. Yeah, that's still not the strongest rifle, but we don't have anything better available for you right now. Sorry, buddy. Immune to goo, that's always good. And let's put someone in a nice shiny new armor. Actually, I think this would be a very good fit. Actually, I can't give it to him. We need we need the speed on shut up and save. Shut up and shave. We can put it on tiny. We don't use the jet jump anymore, right? Not really. This gives four accuracy, this gives five. Let's try it out. That looks good on him, doesn't it? What are we missing here? Ammunition. Alright. Let's get you guys over there. Scan complete. Scan completed. That's what we were waiting for here. And then you guys have got to get back to base. So let's get a Sinedrian Haven defended here. A little bit of attitude. Reputation loss with New Derico and the Anu, but lots of attitude gain with Cenerian and actually 14 strengths, high threat level. Well, well. Let's go. So, let's defend Sinedrian. Is 
standing by. Receiving loud and clear. Comes online. So we have learned that our priest has a very good perception. Channel open. We need to protect the street structures. We also need to protect our own people here. We've got an acid worm, Kiron. Oh, they're getting stronger. Okay. Standing by. So, shut up and shave. Could maybe get to a good position on him. But what about Tiny and his heavy cannon? If you go here, how good will your aiming be? Not too good, but that's rather due to the fact that there's a lot of stuff in the way. So... Basically, there's two things we could do. We could get everybody relatively safe inside the buildings. Which I think would be a good way to approach this mission. Because I really don't know right now what else to do? Enemy spotted. Arthrons. Behind the Kiron. Acid grenade, laun grenade launchers. Almost no armor. They are not that strong. That's good. But they are numerous. Which is not so good. Ready for action. Well, well. Currently, they're all very far away. Be right there. Let's get them in a little bit closer. Pick them off one by one. Uh, maybe even our new recruit. He's not that new, actually. He's level 4. But he might be able to pick off the fireworms. And our Berserk can help with that, so... This is not gonna be too bad. Until the Siren comes out and destroys all our plants. Let's roll! It does look like there are two types of Arthrons on site. And Triton, of course. With a handgun. That's what I mean. He's a different type of Arthron. At least he looks different. All 
right. So the Kiron didn't do anything actually. But that thing's not our prime target right now. Although it might be helpful to shred the armor on his abdomen already. This is a bit annoying. They're all grouped up over there. Um, I think the only thing we can do is a very old strategy. chance. There we go. So what were we able to hit here? He's still got the launcher arm, which is not so good. He's also still got the launcher arm, also not so good. So basically we destroyed none of the launcher arms with two grenades. Excellent. Excellent work, well done, well done. Um, so now what do we do? Well, first things first. Gonna take our armor break. Doesn't really matter. So now we've got our three assaults left, and we've got four targets. And one of the assaults is, well, a little bit new on the job, right? A little green behind the ears. But if we kill three of those, no, it won't damage their will points far enough. Okay, let's see. So 130, this one we could take down, he has no armor. No rest for the wicked. Targeting. There we go. One will point per even per person wouldn't get us very far. Standing by. So we're gonna need two dashes, which means we're gonna need the shotgun. Maybe crunch time. Oh boy. Another Arthron. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. You saw that? So I don't know if they were shotgun pellets going through or if that was just sheer luck, or if that was the, the, the corpse thrown against this guy, but somehow 
did the same thing to him. As did to me. Oh, it's not so bad also. Ten virus. In my opinion, that should mean that he has one will point next round. Okay, that's not enough. Thirty bleeding. Also not enough. So Oh and the launcher arm is also still on there, right? Yeah. Well, well. So I guess we're gonna have, live, have to live with uh, acquiring target. At least one of our guys being hit by an acid grenade. Oh, I almost forgot about the Triton. At my peril, I guess, but a lot of my guys have returned fire by now, so uh, let's hope this works out. And he's actually going to attack the structure with his pincer. That's mighty nice of him. Here come the acid worms. Triton didn't do anything, then I guess he must have been panicked. That's also good. So that actually means that I should be able to take down this Arthron also with my new guy. Maybe. Now. Maybe. Ready to fire. Let's see. Yeah, not like that. Okay. Um taking let's action. Throw a grenade in there. <laughs> then let's go up here and start firing at the Kiron. So we destroyed the armor on the leg. And that was actually not the leg that we hit. the abdomen. Okay, we still have to get rid of those annoying worms. Or do we? We could mind control one of them. I think our priest will get more experience if he kills one of them, which he doesn't. Alright. Let's take care of this. One. Two. Then our Berserk takes number three. And he 
he's dead, she's dead, so our soul is actually free to attack the Kiron. Zooming in. Well, <coughs> don't really matter. So, I guess this means one more round of acid worms, and after that, this should be very much done. What is this? Is the acid worm in the tree? don't know. His aim is just, uh, let's say, not so good. There we go. There's still that acid worm. Ready to fire. That was a kill. So I'm not sure about this, if that worm is still somehow alive, I'd like to be able to take care of it, but I don't have to. So do I? Oh, there it is. Oh, bother. Okay, now that's it. So, first you need Greenhaven defended, and first level 7 soldier, Adrian Tiny Alviso is now level 7 sniper and heavy, very good, that gives us a lot of new ability possibilities. Only 90% of the key structures protected, yeah, that's too bad. And our priest is level up, although he got again the least experience points. So we saw all we would get beforehand, plus some crossbow pillars. Nice. Medkit, nice. Good, good. So let's have a look at our priest for a second. We've now got the ability to choose a secondary class for him. Maybe it's gonna be a sniper later on. I don't know. I don't have an Xbox controller. Uh, with the with a Redeemer sniper rifle, or maybe something completely different. I mean, the mind control doesn't have so big a range, so uh, maybe an assault crossing would also be nice. We still need a lot of will points. I think that should be. Our first target. We need will points and speed. I'll think about it. I'll level him late uh, in the next episode. And for Mr. Tiny, now we can make use of the Rage Burst. Shoot five times with 50% accuracy. That's a l very valuable skill against Skillas. Or Mark for Death for the Sniper Ultimate. Marking enemy target and damage to the target is increased by 50%. For now, we will go with the Rage Burst, which costs us 30 skill points, and give him, let's say, one more speed. Reload is gone. Ah, can't do that. Okay. Alright. 
So, we have successfully defended this haven. We are now on at least positive terms with Sinidrian, if even worse with with New Jericho. Um, I don't know, maybe there's a few New Jericho havens around here, which we will discover now, that we can defend. It looks like there's Mystery Palace installed here already. Oh, that could not, that's just because it's land mass and not water. What else we got? We'll soon have a third team on the way. It's not gonna take too long now. And uh, with the Tiamat, we're gonna have a lot of area to cover. So, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. If you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. And remember people that you're all subject to luck.